Korean Quilt. Hi there, everybody. It's time for You Know What? Korean, Korean Quilt. Hi, Richard. Hey, Anna. Okay, you know it's already been a month since we started Korean Quilt. My, how time flies when you're learning, huh? It does indeed, and the learning doesn't stop here. Today, we've got two more really useful phrases to help you out with. 미안합니다 and 죄송합니다. Uh-huh, 미안합니다 and 죄송합니다 are used as various forms of apologies in everyday Korean. Yes, and both are used formally when wanting to be very polite. However, they can be confusing for native English speakers because both are usually translated as I'm sorry. One difference though is that 죄송합니다 is a little more polite and usually, but not always, used before a mistake or error is made. And how about the second one, 미안합니다? 미안합니다 is used a little less formally, especially when apologizing after the fact or after the mistake has been made. Although there is a slight difference with the two phrases, you can get by with using either one. That's tough. I guess the only really way to master the two phrases is to use them every day with Koreans, huh? And listen to how they use them. That's right. So should we practice the pronunciation of them now, Richard? First, we have... 미안합니다. 미안합니다. Or more naturally as 미안합니다. 미안합니다. And then 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. More naturally, 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. So the next time you make a mistake or there's a problem, try using one of these two phrases to apologize. Otherwise, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.